now that I have all my audio imported and some of my camera moves laid in, I just want to show you now how to sync up the audio to your image just the way that you want to do it. The toolbar that's very helpful in editing your animatic is under toolbars and it's called the playback toolbar. I'm going to enable that and it shows up right here. You may decide to have yours showing horizontal on the other side. But let me show you how the camera preview works. Without the camera preview, when you play through your timeline, you're going to be seeing the images the same way that you saw them within your working space and not really the way that you're going to see them on the camera. And I'm going to enable this camera preview and once again I like to use this mat to help me see it better. And now when I play it through, I can see it as the camera sees it. So the tilted panels have already been tilted. The truck ins and zooms are the exact way that they're going to look when they're output to video. Now you'll notice there was no sound as I was playing through there. I can still scrub through to hear sound. I'm sorry, sweetie. But when I play the track, this, there is no sound enabled right now. So to enable the sound throughout the whole track, just make sure to enable this sound button here. And now when I press play, it's going to uh, play the audio along with the panels so that I can make sure that everything is synced up. I'm sorry, sweetie. You can't go to Mars until you clean up that room. Now I can see, after having moved through it, that some of the timing is off. And as I scrub through, I can find out that her crying actually starts over here. I can see that from the waveform. So what I need to do is shorten this panel and to lengthen this panel. And as I've seen before, if I want to make this panel have a longer duration and have it only affect the panel next to it, I'm going to select this panel. I'm going to press the Alt key. And then once I get the little drag handles, I'm going to drag this over and make sure that her crying starts where the crying starts on the audio. I'm sorry, sweetie. You can't go to Mars until you clean up that room. Oh, ho, ho, but Daddy, all the kids are going. And so I can repeat that process of moving and tightening things up and clipping various clips until I get it all synced up to the audio just the way I want it to. I also want to import some new sounds. I'd like to get the sound of crickets uh, to work over this scene on the new soundtrack layer that I created. So I downloaded some sound effects of crickets, some free sound effects. And I'm going to go and find them where I downloaded them. So I go to Sound, Import Sound Sequence, Crickets 1, and just select it. You can do this for, for wherever your sound is. And I'm going to have it target the current frame so that I can drop it exactly where I want to and then press OK and here's that cricket soundtrack 